I look what I got. It's an invitation for you and the girls, but it's got a special uh, uh, seal uh, uh, on it, so it might be something really special. Oh, you, you girls next door? Greetings from our most royal majesty, Elizabeth, <laughs> by God's grace, the first queen of the Britons to bear that name. It's an invitation to the Renaissance Fair. Oh. Our immense joy upon seeing thy noble face truly lift our spirits, and we would very merry make. Join us, we pray, for a day of play. We have fun. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Okay. You'll well, see I'll, the I'll check with the girls, but I think we'll the do The jousting, and you'll swing some ale. No, you won't swing some ale. I'll Don't swig have... some Jack, probably. Yeah. And I'm sure the girls will love it. Have you ever been to one? A long, long time ago. Very good. Let's talk to you about uh, Ren Fair. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm ready for mead. I'm ready for ale. And the big old turkey legs. And the big old turkey legs. Stacy's one of the first people that I became good friends with when I first started coming to the mansion. And then we got to talking one day and I said, oh yeah, I love the Renaissance Fair. And she's like, what? I love the Renaissance Fair. And then we just made it a pact from there on that every year we go to the Renaissance Fair together. <laughs> I absolutely love the Renaissance Fair. It has everything that I like themed out, costumes, and then it's like this big party. So what is not to like? It's everything I love about an event. Beer, cleavage, and food. Yeah. It's three of my favorite things. Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. I'm Claire. You got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Since I've been to the Renaissance Fair so many times, I made sure that everyone was well prepared by making sure we had classes and costumes and everything we needed to go. I'm excited to see what you guys have. I just want to be a wench. I'm a peasant <laughs> girl. Because peasant girls have way more fun. Here, Hi, I'm Kendra. Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm Claire. You. I have never been to the Renaissance Fair before, but from Bridget, all I hear are good things. You can pick, go oh, by color. Cute, or... Kendra. Those what? blue pants look cute. The pants? Yeah, those are yeah little, the bloomers. Little bloomers. They Hopefully. look like old school parachute pants. <laughs> Let me see. Pull it out on the table. Little MC Hammer, dude. Yeah. Can I MC Hammer? Mm. <laughs> no. You know I don't like to dress up, but I will. You know, I want the hottest outfit, though. <laughs> They're fun. Kendra, how's it going? I am gonna come out in two in a second. Oh, I hear her coming. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, it's oh so my hot. God. I love it. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. Do you like that one? Do you want to try anything, on anything on else on? I still want to try the blue one. Okay, sure. Kendra, will you give me your opinion? Which one? This Which outfit? Kind of blue? Wear that one. I like that one. I like the colors. I love it. It's hot. At first, I was going to wear this black and white pirate looking outfit, but then I saw the blue one on Bridget, and I was like, oh, that's kind of hot. It's a hot ass corset. I told you, wear this one. So she finally decided not to wear it. So I'm like, yes, I'm wearing it. I'm excited okay. to see Holly's dress. I know. <laughs> Or should I say Marie? Yeah. <laughs> I powder all great. over my hair, so I hope I don't get oh, it all no, over it's you. Okay. Clothes. Yeah, you smell like a little baby's bum. It's nice. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to dressing up because this is my excuse to have a Sleeping Beauty costume made. Alrighty. Sleeping Beauty has arrived. Oh my god. I love it great? already. The okay. color's perfect. Isn't it perfect? Yeah, I'll put okay, it on. Let's right. go in here and get you pinned. I love it already. It's so Pinned. fun. Whee! I love my costume. It was just what I pictured. I wanted it to look just like the cartoon. We padded this so that uh -huh. it sticks out a little yeah, bit more cartoony. and looks more cartoony. Yeah. I've always been obsessed with Disney characters since I was little, and I think of myself as a Disney princess. 
And we did the underneath is ivory as well yeah, to match that. So that way if you lift it up, it the colors will match. Yeah, it's so cool. You like? Hey, yes. Hey, that's a fun skirt. <laughs> Well, welcome to the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about the Renaissance Fair is Hef is going with us. This kind of stuff is what keeps Hef young. Kendra and I are pirate wenches. Do well, I, I knew you we were wenches before the fact. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear you might be the king of France, honey, depending on which costume you pick. So you well, and as a matter of fact, I wasn't sure whether I was going to be king of the beggars or, or <laughs> king of France. I was really excited that Hef was totally willing to dress up in Elizabethan period costume. When they said you were coming, I immediately thought of this Perfect. designer out there. I like that one. That outfit that Hef wore definitely reminded me of his everyday pajamas. Ooh. I'm feeling regal already. That one's cool. You look like a king. I don't think I'd go in a gay bar in this hour. <laughs> <laughs> In order to make sure that the girls felt comfortable, I had a language coach come to give us like a crash course in all the Elizabethan language. One of the words I like to use a lot is verily. Verily, it means very much. And you can add that to the beginning of anything. Verily, I do say. Verily, I do speak. Forsooth, I speak unto thee. Forsooth. <laughs> well, forsooth is actually a contraction of words that means in God's truth. One you might hear a lot is good morrow, which is God grant you good morrow. They didn't have contractions like can't or don't, but they put uh, whole phrases of things together. God grant you mercy is actually become... God mercy. Grammercy. And that's how you say thank you. Kendra has enough problems speaking regular English, so I don't know how she's going to do with uh, tackling Elizabethan, but I will uh, keep my fingers crossed for her. Oh, and the bathrooms are called privies. Cut oh, shot. important to know. Privies. Yay, privy. I have to use the privy. If somebody comes up and greets you, good morrow, and you could respond with well met. You want to try that one? Good morrow, good gentles. Good well met. met. I thought Morgan was awesome. I thought she was really funny and she was a great teacher. Or you can respond also with how now. Brown cow. Which is what everybody wants to say. <laughs> if somebody is not very smart, we call them beef-witted. Yeah, I'm so. beef-witted. <laughs> how do you say, like, oh, he's hot? You would say, that man is a, a bacock. Bacock? <laughs> oh, and something nasty to call a girl. You would call them a sausage wallet. <gasps> yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> sausage wallet? Sausage wallet. I thought it was fun to learn a few words, like sausage wallet, which means ho. Um, I'll teach you guys how to curse because that's oh. something everybody needs to know. So instead of saying the F word, you would say fi. Fi upon it. Mm. Fee fi fo fum. Yeah, kind of like that, but not as cute. <laughs> uh -huh. And instead of saying the S word, you would say swoons. Swoons. <laughs> right. And that one you can say like, you stub your toe, swoons. You drop your beer, <laughs> swoons, uh -huh. right? If I drop my beer, I'm gonna say fi. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta oh. go take a swoon. <laughs> At first, I thought it was really weird that I had to learn Renaissance language, but I liked some of the words, actually. Like, the words are so funny. I'm going to start using them in, like, everyday, like, life. Ooh. To end everything, everybody will always ask you for a hip, hip, huzzah. So I'm going to ask hip, you guys. Huzzah. Hip, hip, huzzah. huzzah. Awesome. Who's most beauteous? Wednesday is most beauteous. The morning of the Renaissance Fair, I was practicing my Elizabethan. Bizarre. Huzzah. Mistress. Mistress. <clears throat> what is that? Like a little pamphlet of words? This is the um, Elizabethan language book. Oh, yes wow. is I. No is nay. And if you want to say fuck, it's what? fi. 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 <laughs> Tail on the winch. Winnie, I got a tail now. Winnie, you're ignoring my tail. <laughs> Wee! I almost saw your knickers. Oh no! Oh man, I made myself really dizzy. Oh, I get that all the time. <laughs> I had 
had to dress up as Sleeping Beauty because I love to dress up as Disney characters, so I didn't want to be anything plain. Good morrow. Good morrow. Are you available for corsetry? Aye, good mistress. <laughs> Hither down yonder. Okay. Enter, good mistress. Enter, good mistress. Oh, you have a cute. Oh, wow. I must curtsy oh. because I'm just a peasant. <laughs> On my chastity, I must say, what beauteous wonder. <laughs> Bridget and Stacy are the two experienced people in our party, so they might have to show us around a little. Okay. Yay. We heard that Kendra was not up yet, so we barged into her room and tried to wake her up. Now festivity shall begin. Huzzah! Huzzah! Hip hip huzzah! The last thing I want to hear in the morning is tambourines fucking being pounded on in my ears, okay? <laughs> hip hip huzzah! as the visiting king of France. And he wore a green velvety robe and he had kind of like a piratey hat, but then he also had a crown that he got to wear. Oh, you. Oh. You're the only one that looks like you came from a Disneyland movie. I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Shrek 2. Oh. Shrek 2. And there she is. Ah, oh my God, look Another at you. Wish. How are oh, you, honey? you look good. <laughs> oh. yeah. When we first got to the Renaissance Fair, we were greeted by Shakespeare. Welcome to Chipping Under Oakwood this day. And the lovely company you keep. I try to follow in suit as I learn by example. Oh, very good. Well, we enjoy your writing. Shakespeare had a lot of bitches with him. <laughs> So we shall go here to the bazaar traders. When you walk through the gates of the Renaissance Fair, everybody is completely all in character from head to toe. Back in the Renaissance days, there were swords, horses, no roads, and um, no cell phones. Aw, it's really shiny. <laughs> I want another grill. A good people, I say! The first place they took us to was the joust. And this is your throne, Erin. Take your comforts. We got to sit in a special box for the joust because Hef was playing royalty. And now I say, good people, God save the king! God save the king! God save the king! God save the king! Everybody made a huge deal about Hef being at the Renaissance Fair. They totally treated him like royalty. I thank you, my friend. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor indeed to introduce to you our good friend, King Henry Henri III of France, oh, also no. known as Lord Hugh Hefner. <laughs> thank you, Your Majesty. I am honored, my friend. I am honored. We are so very happy to have you here with us. We are honored to be here. I was really excited to see the Queen because Bridget's always talking about it and says that she always wishes she could be the Queen at the Renaissance Fair, but she's not a redhead, so she can't. Good gentles, would you see a joust this day? Yeah! 
I was rooting for the knight with the green and the white on, and that was the one that had the Playboy bunnies on the side of the horse. Hail Henry, the world's true king! Oh my gosh, one of the jousters had a Playboy bunny insignia on his medal. It was the coolest thing, but I was not rooting for him. He did not have my colors. I believe there are favors to be handed out. <laughs> Hey, where am I, Sleeping Beauty? <laughs> I can tell she's done this before. <laughs> well done, my dear. Huzzah! Which of you shall claim this day the title of Champion of Champions? know it was gonna be so much contact involved. Like I thought it was just like a like a fake play and stuff, but they really like almost stabbed each other, you know? And it was kind of fun. <laughs> I am Queen of England and I say that this day the champion of champions is Sir Thomas, the Duke of Kent. <laughs> After the joust, we were actually invited by the Queen to come and dine with her. Your Grace, your court presents unto you the grand feast. Well, come forward, Lady Cumberland. Your Majesty, our meat rosettes. I've been to the fair lots of times, but it was such a different experience to be there and to be dining with the Queen. Hef did not have to have his regular meal brought to the Renaissance Fair because he knew they had turkey legs and he loves turkey legs, so we were covered. We were so very honored to know that you would be coming to visit with us. Much great preparation in the kitchens has been going about. Not only wishing to please our palate, but thine as well. Hef sat next to the queen. They made an interesting couple. You know, sir, there have been many times that we have been in negotiations with France in which to marry one of your brothers. If I had known they were half as charming as you said, I would have been married already. <laughs> I will carry that word back to France. Thank you, my friend. Thank you well. I didn't get jealous. Wrong hair color. I don't think Holly was jealous of the queen, but I think that she's hoping that she makes it there someday. We like your pimp cup. <laughs> my what? <laughs> pimp cup. Pimp cup. What does that mean? <laughs> it's for one that has many suitors, and they have a cup that's very grand. Oh, yeah. Actually, it suits you well, Majesty. I have many suitors, and it is a very grand cup. Sausage wallet. We come to the <laughs> <laughs> I heard Kendra call the queen a sausage wallet, and I totally smacked her. I was like, you can't do that. I had to say it. I had to say it. When I said sausage wallet to the queen, to tell you the truth, I really felt like I was in that world, and I felt like I didn't cut my head off. <laughs> it's my honor to have had the chance Majesty. to spend some my time pleasure. with you. Your Majesty, I present to you the queen. We wanted to go on the giant swing, which looked pretty wimpy when you saw other people on it, but it's a fun ride when you get on. Oh my god, now let me tell you, I have motion sickness, and that swing, <laughs> I was two seconds away from puking. wanted to try some of the fun snacks that Bridget and Stacy are always talking about. Thank you. Well, ladies, I have your <gasps> The best part about the fair was the food. Mmm. Good food. There was good shows. Oh my god, the shows were so much fun. They were some belly dancers, okay? <laughs> we have been asked to come and not only give to you, but learn from you Woo! the oh. art of seduction. Would you give us some examples? 
<laughs> they said, now show us what you have that sexy. And then Stacey jumped up to go out and learn how to belly dance. And I'm like, oh, I'm learning how to belly dance for sure. So I jumped up and Stacey and I learned how to shake our hips in a very seductive manner. All right, here we go. And shut, 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 shut. There were a few times when I was at the Renaissance Fair that I looked around and everyone was having such a good time and Holly seemed to really be enjoying herself and I was like, yes, I've turned them on to something new. I love it. Pretty cool, honey. I was bummed to leave the fair. I would have liked to spend more time there. I thought the people were really fun. The Renaissance Fair was so much fun, and when we got back to the mansion, we couldn't wait to tell everyone about it. We went to the Renaissance Fair today. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the costume. It was fun. It was just so great that we even got to get Hef out for the Renaissance Fair. Usually, like on a Saturday, he won't even leave the house. Violet! Hey! Sleeping Beauty. Mm -hmm. What was the best part? Oh gosh, just probably the people there, I think. It was fun. It was a fun day. It was fun being a wench for the day, but back at the mansion, we're all queens again. Uh, now that is a renaissance no. outfit. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how you're Thank you. Yeah. This was definitely Bridget's thing. Every year she goes, and when she comes back, I always wonder, like, what is the Renaissance Fair? You know, and going with Bridget definitely, like, showed me the extreme of the Renaissance Fair. It was really cool. The queen was asking about Hef's brother. Well, then. She's interested. Oh. Let's hear more of this. I called her a, a sausage wallet. <laughs> That's my clarification. That's what, what a lot of girls say. Right? <laughs> oh, okay, the king! Oh, okay, the king!